Uh, when is spring officially here? <laughs> we, yeah, we still have eight days before. Eight uh, days. Yes, yes oh. eight days before it officially arrives. Wow. <laughs> but, you know, Winter said I'm not going out without, uh, you know, making a little bit of a show. And that in terms of uh, two systems that will merge together and bring us some snowfall for portions of uh, the tri-state area. But today we did get plenty of sunshine to start the day. Increasing clouds moving through this evening and they'll remain in place. Now, some of us will see uh, these showers moving in as late as tonight, mostly after that midnight hour into daybreak. But by tomorrow morning is when most of the area starts to see uh, that precipitation moving in. We're talking rain for not just the city, most of our boroughs, portions of central South Jersey, Long Island, and a lot of that snow sticking to the Hudson Valley, but also northwest Jersey. By the time Tuesday arrives, we are talking most of the area seeing some of that snow. We'll break that down. And again, this is expected to be a significant uh, snow event for portions of the Hudson Valley. Breaking that down for you here on our future cast, getting through the rest of this evening with just some clouds pretty quiet out there now we move into our overnight hours and that's when we start to see that precipitation approaching the area most of the area still remaining dry overnight it's when we get to the morning commute tomorrow that we start to see that rain setting up remember central south jersey our boroughs long island portions of connecticut as well you see that snow hanging off to areas of northwest jersey and the hudson valley we push towards our afternoon hours and we start to see things still looking the same as far as where the rain is and where that freeze line and snow set up. However, things do become more widespread. It's when we get to tomorrow night that things start to intensify. So more heavy showers coming down across the city, our boroughs, uh, portions of Jersey, Long Island there, and that snow still hanging around the Hudson Valley and Northwest Jersey. Now fast forward to Tuesday morning, we're going to see the snow start to creep down and that's because that cold air does filter in. Snow is expected to stick around not just Tuesday morning. Our future cast indicates that it will be here through the rush hour as well. As far as preliminary rain totals through tomorrow, we are talking anywhere from a half an inch to an inch across most of the area. I want to get to these uh, snow amounts because we have two models that are indicating anywhere from one to two inches locally. Obviously, we are talking higher amounts for the Hudson Valley as much as one to two feet there. Now getting to uh, that model that is showing a little bit more. This is doubling it. We're going to that NAM model where we just saw the city getting a little bit over an inch. This model puts us at about three inches. Now getting to the Hudson Valley, wanting to show you that one to two feet we're talking about. Look at the cat skills there. That is a lot of snow. So again, expect it to be pretty significant for those areas. This will not just be a rain and snow event. We are talking pretty gusty winds as well. Monday through Tuesday took in some of the highest numbers there. Coming in on Tuesday, wind gust wise, we're talking anywhere from about 20 to 40 miles per hour. We're not expected to dry back out, Kaidi, until we get to the middle of the week. And then for St. Patrick's Day, things are not looking so bad there. Back to you.